Hey everyone, my name is Ruby. We are here with our week seven PGBL match and we are going to be taking on our rival, the Orlando Socaleo for a second time. This is going to be Nagana Del take two. And I did end up changing up the team a decent amount if for no other reason, just to be able to handle the Clefable better. We were a last second set change away from losing that if my Polito did not have Encore. I think we're decently better equipped this time. And it looks like the same team. Is that, is that right? <coughs> It is, it's the exact same team. Okay, that's interesting. It could be a different Sovali, so I have to keep that in mind. But, um, I kind of feel like I want to make the same lead. I mean, this is going to be officially the third time that we do this. Uh, assuming she does break out the Galvantula, but she loves her Galvantula lead, I think that's kind of going to be a thing. That's Sticky Web Galvantula lead. But, um, I can pressure it the most with that Amber Bomb. So the only changes that I've made to the team were bring in the Fortress. So even if the webs do come onto my side of the field, hopefully at some point I can, um, spin them away. But also, um, Heavy Slam from a Fortress does should do a decent amount to a Clefable. And obviously we're going to be able to see what kind of a set it is. But uh, it should be doing right around the 50% area, even if it's like max HP. And we'll judge from there how much defense investment it has. But um, Heavy Slam should be do doing a decent amount. And we have the Drapion for the Clefable as well. No Encore Politoed, which saved my ass last time. But yeah, no, we see the, we see this thing once again, and this is going to be the third time we're doing this, where we have to figure out what we're going to do. Uh, between two seasons, we have kind of an anti galvantula lead against a thick galvantula lead. I think this time I'm just going to stick to my conviction and, and go for that fake out. Because I feel like we've been over this so many times where I either U-turn out or I uh, knock off expecting something else. Where I think this is the time where she expects me to stay in and I just straight up fake out. We've, we've played this game so many times at this point. I mean, the only thing that really punishes me here it would be the Delmise. But I'm not too concerned about the Delmise, I don't think. I can always U-turn on the Delmise, I can always knock off the Delmise. Um, I've re actually, I really shouldn't knock off the Delmise because uh, the Sample Palm is probably too important. I it was probably a mistake for me to give it up that early last time, but yeah, I'm, I'm gonna finally just click Fake Out. Goes for the Protect! Yikes! Okay, awesome play, awesome, awesome play. I love it, I love it. She got me good, she got me good on that one. Okay. I still do have the double hit. Does a double hit? I I, I I definitely on speed. I'm base 115. Galvantula is base 108. Um, I, I, this is not a this is not a this is not a calc that I've ever ran. That protect play was phenomenal. I love it. We've been playing each other so many times that she that I was finally gonna be like, no, I'm gonna go in here and try to do the damn thing, and then she had me countered. I love it. Um, double hit's not doing nearly enough. But I haven't included Technician. Nope. I haven't included... Technician. And I haven't included... Life Orb. Oh, double hit does 102% minimum. I mean, I feel like I have to go for it. Off goes the double hit. Oh, really close. Okay. We do take it out. It was probably Sash. We do take it out. That was an amazing uh, turn one, or turn two, I guess, for me. Um, yeah, yeah, it's, I did. I mean, like, I knew Ambipon was strong. Uh, max attack, Jolly, Life Orb, Technician, double hit. I knew it was going to be strong. But uh, that was 
some power, some much, much needed power, because Sticky Web's not being on my side of the field means that my Sceptile's gonna be able to do some things. Um, I don't I don't even think I have Gyro Ball on my um What do you call that thing? Fortress. And um because realistically, it's it's, just, it's only for the Clefable, so it wouldn't even help me out in that respect. But yeah, minimum 102%. I definitely didn't see Ampapom doing that much damage, but Ampapom is a monster, man. Stab, Technician, Life Orb. Oh man, she's, she's deciding. I kind of feel like... I don't know what you bring in. If she brings in the Naganadel, that would be bad for me. She could just go straight for the Naganadel. Um, and try to Nasty Plot on me, but if she doesn't Nasty Plot, then I have a chance to take it out with double hit. And then I don't have any priorities, I just have to- well, Fortress can come in. Fortress can come in from there. So, if she does bring in the Naganadel, I'm gonna stay in and possibly give up my Naganadel- my, uh... My Ampapom here. Now, we're in the same situation again. We will speed tie. I don't think I want to play this, these speed tie games again. I kind of want to just go into my Celesteela here. But I also kind of want to go into my Drapion. But I feel like I need Drapion too much. Now, what I need a lot less right now is my Fortress. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I could possibly try to Volt Switch out with my Fortress. There's really no downside to doing that. So, I think I'm gonna do it. I think I'm just gonna try to eat up... Man, that U-turn, that super effective U Life Warp U-turn is super, um, tempting. But I think I'm just gonna make the safer play this time. I'm gonna try to go out into the Fortress here. Um, this thing could very well have Fire Blast. Actually, it probably does have Fire Blast for my Celesteela, so that's a thing to consider now. But, you know what? We'll, we'll deal with it. I've already clicked my moves, so we'll deal with it uh, next turn, I guess. Let me think. Let me think. In case of Fire Blast... I, I don't even have my anti-fire um, Pokemon with me. I, all I have is Swampert, but I need Swampert to be super healthy against to 1v1 that Naganadel. Will-O-Wisp. Ooh. Ooh, neat play. Forgot to make you all, but that's cool. But neat play. Neat, neat play. I kind of want a Heavy Slam here. Actually, by not Mega Evolving, she kind of hurt herself. Because if I did U-turn, then that would have been uh, pretty not great. But I don't quite know what I want to do here. Do you, do you just want to uh, Fire Blast me? Because, I mean, like, in all honesty, just for a free switch hand, I don't mind giving this up. No, Heavy Slam's... Well, now I'm burned, so I guess it doesn't matter too much. Trying to Heavy Slam doesn't matter too much. Hmm. I kind of feel like the best play would be to Volt Switch into... To get the free switch into, um... Swampert? Not... Not Swampert. Uh, Sceptile here? Uh, this one's a tough one. This one's a tough one. I'm I'm just gonna Volt Switch here. I'm just gonna Volt Switch here. If we do see the Fire Blast, that would be super unfortunate. But ultimately, uh, I'm not gonna need a spin later in the game, so I think this is a fairly safe move. And I know from last time, um. Leaf Blade, just straight up Leaf Blade from a Sceptile does about 80%. At least this is a max, a substitute. Whoa, okay. Okay. Banana's coming in with some fire here. All right. Now I really got to figure out what I'm doing. Now I really got to figure out what I'm doing. So we've seen Sub Will-O-Wisp already. I have to assume knockoff and I'm and fire blast, right? So that kind of means no play rough, I would imagine. But I don't want to give up my step just for this 1v1. Hmm.
I think Drapion's the play. I think just giving up Drapion for this 1v1 is the play here. I definitely... I, I, I definitely don't mind this 1v1 here. So let me just see... What a Drapion is doing in this situation. Drapion is max defense, too. On... Absol or no, I, I think it's close to max defense. I split up the defenses, but heavily, uh, physically, defensively biased. <sighs> Let's see. What am I realistically doing? Poison Jab does a decent amount, a very decent amount. Uh, I also have Excess or just for this thing. Which doesn't do that much more, but, um... Either way, I feel like Poison Jab is the play. You might will with me again. Yeah, you're gonna will with me. That's fine, in all honesty. This is kind of meant as more of a wall, I guess. But it's gonna hurt me a lot. Oh, man. Yeah, this really is gonna hurt me a lot later when... If and when you try to, uh... Get a free Nasty Plot with a Nagadadel. That's gonna really hurt me. But you know what? For now... For now, we just gotta do it. I kinda... I kinda feel like now that I'm burned, you... Hmm. Hmm. No, I'm just gonna click X-Scissor. It's gonna be the strongest move. It's not gonna... It's still not gonna do a whole lot, but, um... I think I can wear this thing down 1v1. And that's honestly gotta be my best play. But if Nagadel comes in and gets to, like, plus four... Then I'm in huge trouble. Like... I'm kind of done at that point, kind of trouble. Um, it does, it would have to go for some Draco Meteors, but Pokemon are gonna have to go down. Pokemon are gonna start going down, and it's gonna be bad. It's gonna be pretty bad. I don't know, man. If I were Power Banana, I might actually just be super aggressive and make us super aggressive switch into the Naga Nadel now, but I'm sure that's exactly what she's thinking about now. That's exactly what she's thinking about now. I feel like she wants to make that play. She's making that play. Grapefruit, no. This is the same steel type Savali, okay. Okay. We have seen before just how defensive this thing is. Trying to call my... Trying to call my... Poison Jab. I'm gonna Earthquake here. I mean, realistically we're not gonna be doing that much, but... I kinda have to put on some pressure in case of Naganadel, and... I have to wear this thing down realistically, it's not gonna come down easily, and I can't really uh, give up my Cell Steel the way that I did last time just to take this out. I can't I can't just uh, sacrifice it uh, my Cell Steel away. So, I think it's more advantageous to give up the Drapion just to wear this thing down over time. And should the Naga Nadel want to come in, I feel like I have to pressure it. It's honestly kind of that simple, and I... I don't like the position that I'm in at all, despite that turn one. I don't like this position at all. But, okay, so realistically thinking this through, right? All, all that all that Drapion would have to do, or all that any anyone on my team would have to do, is get Naganadel down to about 50%, because I'm pretty positive at that point, um, Ambipom can fake it out. Flamethrower. We are Assault Vestage. We are Impish, like, physically defensive, but we are also Assault Vestage, just to be as bulky as possible. But let me just see how much an Ambipom Fakeout's doing. If anything, I feel like that, like, that knowledge that I have Fakeout Pressure in the back is the only thing that's realistically, uh, keeping the Naga Nadel in the back right now. Yeah, that's really realistically doing nothing. But, like I said, I kind of need to wear this thing down, I think. Uh, let's see. Life Orb. 
mission. So just so we know, assuming no HP investment or anything like that, uh, Nagana Dell would be taking minimum 50% from a fake out from a bomb. Okay. Okay, that's fair. Um, I mean, realistically, I probably should be... If it's gonna start flash cannoning, I need to take this opportunity. I really need to take this opportunity. I mean, in, all, in complete honesty, I kind of want to go into Celestia and Tectonic Rage. But I'm 100% going to take this opportunity. Because I think she thinks that I want to just sack this thing off. And I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. I'm bringing Celestia. I think you're gonna flash cannon again. I I don't think you call that and go for the flamethrower. Yeah, okay. Okay. We know that I take a flamethrower reasonably well. Now, does she know that I want a tectonic rage? Does she do that thing where you just switch out? What would you switch out into? You would switch out into the. Hmm. She knows that I one v one this thing. I feel like she would want to go into the. Delmize here. Do I want to make that call? Do I want to make that uh, call? That Delmize call? That hard Delmize read? Um, I don't think she would bring in Clefable just because of the heavy slime pressure, but realistically, this thing does well against the rest of her team. Realistically, this thing does really well against the rest of her team. I, I really don't want to waste Tech Rage in case of the Delmize, but I do want to Air Slash. I think I'm, I think I'm going to call the switch out and Air Slash here. I really want to make that hard read. She could also bring in um, Mega Absol. She could she could think that I want to lead seed here, um, which actually would be smart because um, that'd be a smart bring to the to the to the round two. And I wish I did, but I clearly did not. I do kind of want to make that hard call. Air Slash. Bring in Delmize for me, fam. No, Parting Shot. Okay, Parting Shot into Delmize. Parting Shot into Delmize for me, fam. Hmm. Show me that young Delmize. Absol's really would be a decent switch in as well. But I, I think, I think she would fear the Tech Rage, because I've shown Tech Rage jealous Yella. Uh, before I think she would have to respect that, but I mean, who knows? Who knows? She could just think that I'm that I didn't bring the Z move this time. Well, she didn't see leftovers, so it, it would have to be like some sort of a berry or um, or like an assault vest or something. I'm sure she knows that by now. But. If the, if the Epsol comes in, then that's 100% gonna start trying to fire blast me. Davy Jones, okay. Okay. We make that read. That is a read that we make. We are at minus one, so it's not doing a whole heck of a lot. We can flinch this thing out, and this thing can't realistically do a whole heck of a lot to me. But... I mean, if anything, at this point, you can you can kind of just cycle in um, parting shots because I'm not I, I'm in all honesty, I'm kind of not real enough to try to tech rage into this thing and make that hard rage for Savali. But if you did want to just go into Savali again, parting shot back in, then yeah, Delmize would get worn down over time, but uh, that would put you in a decent position. Hmm. That would be some, that would be some big boy plays, some big girl plays, I should say, but, um, I'm not sure I would be real enough to make that play either. And, and obviously I'm not real enough to tech rage into this thing, so I don't know where that leaves us. 
But that would be insane. I don't know if she wants to stay in, especially after last time when I when I critted and flinched uh, this Delmize to all heck and back. Goes for the hard withdrawal. Into the Savali? Clefable, okay. You're gonna have the Fire Blast, but I'm gonna have the Heavy Slam. I, I feel like she already knows how much Heavy Slam is doing. I feel like she already knows that she can take a Heavy Slam pretty gosh darn well. Clefable. Against Celesteela. And if I go for the Heavy Slam... I'm doing 100% about, uh, but that's uninvested. We have to assume 252 HP. We're doing a whole heck of a lot, but I'm at minus one, so we'll barely do more than 50%. And she's going to outspeed me because I'm a sassy nature Celesteel. So I kind of want to give up. I kind of want to give up the fortress here. I kind of want to give up the fortress here. Is this the moment where I give up the Fortress? Let me think here. If I do that... Then I would be able to go into Ambipom, then I could U-turn out... Fortress isn't doing anything for me. Like, literally anything for me. Yeah. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Yeah, realistically, Fortress isn't is doing much of anything for me anymore. And I have to take my board positioning into play. Oh, yikes. Oh, that's a hard yikes. If I'd stain it. Ah, oh, okay. That's bad. That's bad. I'm gonna go for Heavy Slam, but uh, she's just gonna Fire Blast me to the next dimension. And I don't have a Rain Setter. She could go for a Calm Mind. If she goes for a Calm Mind, that would be pretty wild. If she goes for a Calm Mind, then that would be... That would be too free for me to go into Ambipom there. So I guess we'll see, I guess we'll see. Uh, realistically, she goes for the Calm Mind, I go for Heavy Slam. I go for Heavy Slam, she would take me out, I go into Ambipom. I attempt to Fake Out, and she can freely go into either Silvali or... Domize, but she knows I have Knock Off, so she probably goes into the Silvali. Um, I would have to go into- I, I would have to go for a U-turn on that Silvali switch in and then I go into possibly Swampert? I don't know. I can't really give up Swampert. Hmm. Hmm. Withdraw is interesting. Interesting. As I go for the heavy slam. Okay, this is really interesting here. Because... <sighs> this is bad. Because she can go for the nasty plot here pretty dang freely. She can go for the nasty plot here pretty dang freely. Well, no, I have Sceptile. Yeah, Sceptile is my answer here because... I can... If I Bolt Switch now... On, if I Volt Switch now on the Nasty Plot, then she doesn't have any speed boost to take on the Sceptile, and I can Dragon Claw, and I think that does it. 
I think that takes around from here. And even if it doesn't, I mean, it sucks to give up the Sceptile, but I have ample power to clean up, I think. So I have to Vol Switch. If you do just go straight up for the Fire Blast, then you get a plus one speed and that is bad. It's really bad for me, I guess. But I kind of feel like just the fact that, you know, I have the Swampert available to me makes you want to go for the nasty plot to take on the Assault Vested uh, Swampert here. But these are super mind games because she knows I have the Assault Vested Swampert. She knows that. I told her after last match. So she definitely knows I have that available to me. And I think she knows she has to get to plus two to be able to Z Draco. She goes for the Draco. Interesting. Interesting. I don't understand that. But I'm gonna take that damage. You're gonna be at minus two when I get the free full switch into Sceptile here. So how real am I? How real am I? Oh no, you're at minus two. So I can go I can go into I can go into um sell steel here pretty freely. Well no, because the sunny day makes up for the minus two. No. I'm gonna go into this thing, but how real am I? Well first of all, let's 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 make some let's make sure of some things. Not gonna Dell, right? You got your not gonna Dell. Against a Sceptile. Well, your obvious switch in here would be Sceptile Mega 252. And what? Dragon Claw takes you out, but you know that it takes you out, so I could Sword Stance up. I could Sword Stance up expecting the Clefable to come in, and the Clefable has enough damage where I think a plus two uh, Leaf Blade should do enough? I kinda wanna make that read. I kinda wanna make that read. I'm gonna do it. How do you not go into Clefable in this situation? Mega Evolution Sword Stance. <sighs> Show me the Clefable, man. Show me the Clefable. I'm so stressed out right now. There's the Clefable, okay. Now, now we're doing some things. And now we're doing some things with my Mega Evolution and my Swords Dance. Now how much is a Leaf Blade doing? At plus two. We're gonna assume max HP. Wait, what? Oops. We're gonna assume max HP. Oh man, it's a super duper roll. No, I, I'm not gonna be able to take this thing out. I'm not gonna be able to take this thing out. Do I take a moon? I don't take a moon blast. There's no way. There's no way I take a moon blast. Oh, I might take a moon blast. But that's uninvested. You're pro you probably have a little bit of special attack investment. Fuck. Okay. Hmm. Would I give this thing up for some damage on the... For some damage on the... Clefable. Leaf Blade is my strongest move. And because again, I did not... I was not smart enough to bring the poison dad. I think this thing gets poisoned. Yeah, I don't know. It's not the point. Point is, I don't have it. I'm gonna leave Blade. I'm gonna do my best to get some damage here. Oh, come on! There's the Moon Blast. We have a chance to take it if you're completely uninvested. We take it! Oh my god! Oh, this Sceptile is beautiful. 
Oh my god. That is so stressful. So you are completely uninvested in special attack. Oh my god. Oh my god. Is there any benefit to going anything for anything but, uh... Well, now Sovali walls me. Now Sovali walls me. I kind of want to go for a crunch just to, um... I guess tempt the Delmize, but, uh... Delmize might come in anyway. I feel like there's no reason not to just Leaf Blade in this situation. How much is a plus two Leaf Blade, or how much is a plus two Crunch doing to Silvali Steel? Silvali Steel type. Leaf Leaf Blade does just under fifty percent. Crunch does just about fifty percent, just above fifty percent. So, not good in either situation. But... Yeah, I'm just gonna leave Blade here. You're gonna get the free switch in into the Silvali Steel, which really does suck. I really should pack Earthquake on this thing, but I didn't. But in all fairness, then I couldn't touch the... The... The, um... Delmize. Oh, Dragon Claw would do enough, but that's only because it's weakened, to be fair. And I really wanted a way to hit the slow bro if she brought it. <sighs> but that was incredible. That was incredible. It was a super duper roll for her to take that. Because I think at max it, it does like 90 something percent to 102 percent, if I remember that correctly. But, we just barely got through that one. We just barely got through that one. And, and I think I think she has to know that her only uh, play is a Sovali Steel, right? Oh, she brings it. She doesn't know about the crunch. She thinks this walls me. I kind of feel bad, because she thinks this walls me, but, um... I mean, I have to make the super obvious play. I have to make the super obvious play. I have the crunch. <laughs> Plus two crunch from a Mega Sceptile. Does she have anything that can... Nope. No priority. And down this thing goes. That's a crit. I don't think it mattered. I really super don't think that it mattered. But we're doing at least half to the Savali Steel at this point. As long as we keep Swampert safe, it can 1v1 the Nagana Dell. And what else? What else? What else? Oh, we need to handle the, the Absol. What's gonna handle the Absol? <laughs> What's gonna handle the Absol? Cell Steel can 1v1 the Absol. Fire Blast is gonna hurt though. Like a lot. Tech Rage, though. <laughs> that Tech Rage, though. Um, but outside of Sun, I think... Outside of Sun, I think... Cell Steel, I should take a Fire Blast from either Nagana Dell or the... Mega Soul, unless Inferno Overdrive, which would be pretty bad. But if Inferno Overdrive, then Swampert, I guess. Still not ideal, though. Still not ideal. I cannot believe this just happened. So we lived on 11, right? And we were... We were like 4, point, four HP points above minimum. So I guess it didn't help either way. I guess that doesn't matter. Brings this in for Sucker Punch. Brings us in for Sucker Punch. Now, I super want to keep Sceptile now. I super want to keep Sceptile now. Do I want to hard read that, that, uh, 
Sucker Punch? I kind of do, right? Why else? Why else? I'm gonna switch. I could be giving this thing a free sword stance, to be completely fair. To be- oh, I also have the- I also have the Ampapom, of course. Of course, of course, of course. I still have the Ampapom. I've been trying to give up this fortress all gosh darn game, but we're trying- we're finally going to, uh, sack off this fortress here. There's a Sucker Punch. So wait, we've seen Sucker Punch Willow. What was that other move that we saw? Fuck. Why am I so bad at this? Why so? Why am I so bad at Pokemon? We've seen Willow, Sucker Punch. Well, I know we saw another move. I know we saw another move. I don't even remember. God damn it! Why am I so bad? I'll go for a Heavy Slam here. I'm really curious to see if you have Fire Blast here. So that was the move! Can we break through with Heavy Slam? Come on, come on. Epsol weighs like nothing. Please tell me Epsol weighs nothing. Oh, man, why am I so bad? Why couldn't I remember the substitute? I gave this thing the freest of substitutes. I gave this thing the freest of substitutes. So now we've seen... Oh, Thunder! Whoa! Whoa! That's kinda wild! Sucker Punch, Thunder, Substitute, and Will-O-Wisp. That's kinda wild. I'm just gonna hope you miss a thunder again, I guess. I don't know. That's kinda wild. Okay. What are you gonna bring in? Okay. Is this thing gonna try to set up? Because I feel like... Does it have sword stance? Because that would be kinda bad. That'd be really bad. I'm gonna Volt Switch the heck out of here. If you try to set up... Uh, realistically, I guess parting shots more. You could you could flamethrower me. You could just try to take me out. You could just try to take me out. That would be totally fair. But if you're in here to sword stance, then I would be super scared. But I also have the uh, the volt switch, so that helps quite a bit. But that's super smart. The thunder to take advantage of my rain. That's super good. That's super good. I love it. I love it. So I feel like it's time. Yeah, Celesteela kind of wins this, right? Celesteela kind of wins this matchup here. She could switch into this Epsol, right? She knows I have to take. She might know that I have the Tectonic Rage. Now, would she call the Tectonic Rage and switch directly into the Epsol? I kind of feel like she would. Just to make me burn my Z-move? Or to get a free switch in and knock it down? Without my Z-move? Would I heavy slam calling that? Would I heavy slam? Well, Epsol's at like 50%, right? So, theoretically, could a... Could an Earthquake take out the Epsol from here? Celesteela. I know is not like the strongest thing in the world, but especially uninvested. But Epsol is not Well whoops. Epsol is not the most bulky here. Earthquake, how much are you doing? Ugh, you're doing at the high end 48%. How much is Heavy Slam doing? 
So if I think if I think the Absol is coming in, I have to heavy slam. And you know what? I feel like that's I feel like that's the call we, we gotta make. I feel like that's the play that we have to make. Absol's coming in. Nope, never mind. Alright. Never mind then. I really thought it was coming in. So let's try to see what we're doing, how much damage we're doing to a Silvali Steel. Let's see how much we would potentially do to a Silvali Steel. With... Earthquake should be doing about 50% from here, but we know that it's defensive though. So we would have to go Tectonic Rage like right now. We have to go Tectonic Rage like right now. And I kinda wanna. I kinda wanna. You know what? You know what? Let's just get, let Celestia get this, right? Then from there, Swampert 1v1s and Aghanadel. Um Ambipalm 1v1s the Epsol. I'm pretty positive that that Ambipom. Let's see how much Ambipom is doing with a fake out to the Epsol from here. Let's see how much we're doing from here. Fake out. We get that young plus one. As much as I would love Celestia to just sweep from here, I don't think we're gonna have we're gonna do it. But you know what? We're gonna we're gonna do some damage. We're gonna do a little bit of damage here. Let's see. We have the technician. And we also have the life orb. So yes. So yeah, Fake Out's doing minimum 60% to a to an Epsol. And we saw that Ambipalm was doing like 50% to a Naga to Devil. So Ambipalm is chilling in the back, can handle whatever needs to be handled. Um, <coughs> after 1v1ing that thing, we should have enough left to 1v1 whatever needs to be 1v1. Now here's where... Here's where we can, like, be kind of filthy. If I really feel like a thunder's coming- well, no, that wouldn't do anything. If I, if I really felt like a thunder's coming, then I can go into Sceptile. But that doesn't do much for me because- well, we know its only attacking moves are, uh... are Thunder and Sucker Punch, so switching into Sceptile would be, uh, perfectly protected. But, uh... From there, that doesn't do anything for me because it's gonna go for the sucker punch and eventually take out my uh, my septile anyway. But does doing a does making a play like that do anything for me? I could go into Pinchy Boy, right? That doesn't do anything for me at all. Nope. All right, so I'll just let Celestia go down. Unfortunately, Celestia only gets the one KO. This week, after some very some super solid weeks, goes for the Willow is Ooh, you kind of expected me to switch there, didn't you? We we go for the Air Slash though. Can we do fifty percent? Can we do fifty percent? Ooh, yes! Celesteela gets a second KO. Okay, Celesteela is doing the darn thing. Cause uh, in the last few games that I played, my, my games are play, being played super out of order. But in the last few games that I played, Celesteela got three KOs. In the past two games that I played, Celestia got three KOs and two in this one. So I'm super proud of uh, that young Celestia right now. I'm super duper proud. Um, but from here, Naga Dell comes in. Naga Dell can freely go for a nasty plot, but all I all, all I have to do is click Earthquake. Because, oh, maybe not. Let me see. Not gonna doubt. Earthquake could be the biggest mistake of my life. Celesteela. So we know that Ampipom Fake Out does 50% to this thing. So we have to get this thing under 50%, right? 
But I am burned, so Earthquake might not do it. But would Air Slash? If you go for the nasty plot, does Air Slash do it? Air Slash should do it. Air Slash does minimum 40%, yeah. So if I did go for the Earthquake, and because I'm burned, I'm at minus two, essentially, it would not do enough to get you under half. Or at least it would be a roll. A super duper roll, whereas with Air Slash, it's not a roll even a little bit. So, you're gonna Nasty Plot. I'm gonna Air Slash. At this point, not gonna Del take something out. I go in A, but um, we win this. Is I think how this goes. Either that, or you don't go for the Nasty Plot, and Swampert 1v1s every dang day. I think we get this win. <laughs> I think we get this win, despite how heckin' stressful this was. Okay. Unless, unless, <laughs> this thing's pi finally packing the Hidden Power Grass. Not even packing the, uh, the, uh... Actually, what I should do is I should go into the Ambipom, fake out, uh, sacrifice Great Beyond, and then fake out again. That is the real way that I should end this game. <laughs> the safest possible way to end this game. This was a long one. This was a stressful one. This is 45 minutes. Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ. And this was played super late at night. I'm sorry. I had to delay this one pretty late in the night. I'm super sorry, Banana. But, uh... Yikes. Yikes. This was so stressful. That Absol set super threw me off. Super threw me off. Oh, but that... But that Sceptile Clefable play made the match. It made the match. Oh, fuck. I hope we didn't disconnect. I truly, truly hope we did not disconnect. There's the fake out. Does exactly how much I expected it to. And. I mean, at this point. No, you're plus one speed. Never mind, never mind, never mind. At this point, I'm. Uh, I was gonna say, I might just give you the Sceptile. Um, in case, just in case it wanted to go for the nasty plot, but. That wouldn't make a whole ton of sense, just because, um... It already has a plus one speed beast boost, so... Um... Sceptile wouldn't be able to take it out in case of... In case of the... Nasty plot anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Sludge wave, I think... Did you expect the Sceptile to come in? Oh, we take that! Oh, we eat that. It sucks. I wish this thing had Sucker Punch. Oh, if this thing had Sucker Punch, I would be so happy. Oh, I'd be so happy. But this thing's gonna get taken out. Not gonna Dell's gonna get yet another KO. I've seen I've seen the stats. All the stats go directly to me. Uh, as as the commissioner, and uh this is not gonna Dell's kill at the season. But you know what? We're we're doing things as well. We're doing some dang things as well. But yeah, we ate that sludge wave like a champ. Please tell me, like, Drapion gets Sucker Punch, because... Man, that would have been so good. That would have been so heckin' good. Drapion. Man, I wish I did that. Pokemon Showdown. Where's the Drapion? Sucker Punch. It does not get Sucker Punch. Damn, okay. So I guess I never had that. I guess I never had that. Any priority? 
I guess not. Okay. Either way. Either way, we're just gonna click fake out. We're gonna go home with this victory. Again, going down a 50 minute battle took it's just yikes, a 50 minute battle, basically, and uh, it was super duper stressful. Everything was super unexpected, but man did Septile really come through for me. Man did Septile really come through for me. I needed, I needed everybody to come through as a team together, and man, Celesteela coming through with two more KOs, it's going to be making threats at that top spot. Oh, with that, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm so excited after this to see uh, where the Celesteela will end up. In that MVP race, it's going to be making a run for sure, and I'm going to be doing my best to make sure that it gets somewhere in that top few. But with that, once again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll be once again, out.